What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinBirdTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about push AD, push A, pop AD, and pop A instructions. So let's get started. Let's first start off by talking about push A and pop A. Well push A, what push A does, it, it push A will move the value of all the 16-bit registers and move it to the top of the data stack, right? So, and it'll move it in this order. It'll start off with AX, then it'll go to CX, then it'll go to DX, then it'll go to BX, then it'll go to SP, then it'll go to BP, then it'll go to SI, then it'll go to DI, right? In this order. Once you once the push A instruction is initiated, it starts first with AX. It'll move AX to the nearest available spot in the top of the data stack. Then it'll move the value of CX to the top of the of the data stack, then DX to the top, then BX, and so on and so forth, right? So Let's delete that. What pop A does, it just retrieves the value of all the 16-bit registers from the top of the data stack and it restores them. So let me demonstrate how this works. Let's first start off by, I want to only uh, demonstrate by using three of the registers. I'm going to use AX, BX, and CX. So let's first move into AX, the value of one. Let's move into BX, the value of one as well. Let's move into CX, the value of one. Now, AX, BX, and CX, they all three have a value of one, right? Let's use the push A instruction, right? Once the push A instruction is initiated, it's gonna move the value of all the 16-bit registers to the top of the data stack, right? It'll copy them there. But before then, I'm gonna move into AX, the value of five. I'm gonna move into C, I'm sorry, I'm gonna move into BX, the value of 5 and I'm going to move into CX the value of 5 as well. Now what, what, what happens when we use the pop A? When we use the pop A it will automatically overwrite whatever value after the push A and restore the registers with their initial value, right? It will retrieve the value from the top of the data stack and restore the registers. That's why I moved the value of 5 into all these three registers here. So to demonstrate how they will be overwritten later on. So let's start. Let's say emulate. Now over here, I'm going to hit uh, next step. The first step, we should move into AX the value of 1. So I'm going to hit single step here. As you can see, AX has a value of 1. Let's hit next step. And next step should move into BX the value of 1. We hit next step. BX has a value of 1. Let's hit next step. Now CX has a value of 1. All three of them have a value of 1. Go to next step, which is push A. Now push A, what push A again does, it pushes the value of all the CX registers to the top of the data stack, right? So now let's hit next. Now AX has a value of 5, because I gave it a value of 5 under here. Now let's hit next step. Now BX has a value of 5. Let's hit next step. Now CX has a value of 5. So now the next step is the pop A. It should retrieve the value uh, from the data stack and it should re and restore the values of the register. Let's hit next step. And it did. It restored the value of the registers. It, and now all three registers have a value of 1 again. So whenever every time you use the push A, whatever you do after the push A and, and, and before the pop A, it will get overwritten. Now let's talk about push AD and pop AD. Now push AD and pop AD do the exact same thing, but the only difference is it works with the 32-bit registers instead of the 16-bit registers. So if we use uh, push A and added a D, and pop A just add a D, it'll work with all of the 32-bit registers, and it'll work the, with the 32-bit registers in the same order. So instead of AX, this would be EAX, right? This would be EBX, ECX, and, and so on and so forth. Instead of the 16-bit registers, it'll do the same thing and just work with the 32-bit registers. Push AD and pop AD do the same thing as push A and pop A. Instead of uh, moving all the 16-bit registers to the top of the data stack, it, it'll move all the 32-bit registers to the top of the data stack. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.